Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1008. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1008 to 1009, click on the link below the video. Hey, in the last video 1007, we talked about semi-monthly uh, payments, and we built an amortization table and a schedule. Here, we just want to compare the same loan, two loans, but one we're going to make semi-monthly payments, the other one we're going to make monthly payments. And we want to figure out what the total interest will be for these two options and then to compare the difference. Easy to do. Now we could build a whole amortization table like we did in the last one or other videos that I have at YouTube. But if you just want to cut to the chase, we can use QMI payment, cumulative interest on the payment. We want our rate, it's got to be our period rate. If they're the same uh, two loans, and the only difference is uh, semi-monthly or monthly, then it'll be exactly half the rate of here, comma, NPR means total number of periods. Here we have 24 times 15 years. The present value, we're going to do this from the point of view of the borrower, so this cash flow is positive. Remember, if you're borrowing money, you go, hey, bank, give me the money, or loan me the money, and then the bank gives it to you. That's a positive cash flow, even though it immediately goes out to like a house or something like that. The starting period, well, I'm going to say 1, and the ending period, hey, that's 360, the ending period comma, and this argument in the QMI PMT is not a, an option. You have to put it in, unlike the PMT function. So I'm, this is an end loan, so I'm going to put uh, 0. Control Enter, those are all relative cell references. So when I copy it over, I can see the total is going to be obviously more interest paid if I'm paying uh, fewer times per year. Now, uh, this is a uh, negative which is a cash flow. It means this is the amount going out of the borrower's pocket. Now, I actually want to see this as a positive, so I'm going to come in front of the function. All, all the inputs here are correct in terms of cash flow, but I'm going to just show it on the face of the spreadsheet as positive, so I put a minus there and copy it over. Now I can simply subtract the difference. Equals arrow key minus arrow arrow key. That's a great way to get cell references, and Enter. All right, we'll see you next. Oh, you could, um, this is the uh, quick and easy way to do it. You could build up the total, the amortization tables, right? Here's the amortization table for the uh, semi monthly. Here's for the monthly. And then we have a, a column for interest for each one of these. And we could just add them and we could compare these two and you get the same exact answer. By the way, if you want to learn, I have uh, about six videos on amortization tables. There's the link to the playlist. And of course, you can download this and just click on this and it will jump you right there. All right, we'll see you next video.